Welcome everybody to Hop Nation USA episode 130 and 1. I am your host Adam. I'm here to talk beer. Also with me to talk beer is Steve. Hello. You can feel the excitement. Hurrah. It's palpable. Palpable? Yes. I believe that's the right way you say it. Palpable. Palpable. Yes. Yes. Palpable. Yes. And also on the third mic we have, what's your face? What's your name again? No. <laughs> it's Katie. Katie, welcome back. What up, Trick? <laughs> Glad you're back. It's old what's her face. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I she, don't even know anymore. She just walked in the door. She's like, oh, you got microphones. It's old. Who's this McGillicuddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, welcome back to the show. We're glad you're back. Yay. For multiple reasons. One, your sparkling personality. And that two, you brought beer. That, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's a plus. We'll take them both. The yeah. beer's the selling point. Yes. So you brought beer from the Commonwealth of Virginia, which is what we are going to be highlighting on today's episode, tonight's episode, this morning's episodes, whenever you listen to this. The first beer that we have is from Strange Ways Brewing Company. They're out of, of course, Virginia. Virginia. Yes. We are going to be trying, trying their Albino Monk E. Monk E. Monk E. Monk E. Yes. I get it. It is a white ale served with... Spices. 110% bought solely for the name. It's a pretty sweet name. It's a pretty sweet it's label, It's got an albino too. monkey on it. How could you not like something like that? I haven't seen the label yet. Oh, that's because I keep hogging it. I know. I'll get to it. <laughs> I'm I'm imagining right now it's a monkey and uh, like a monk frock. It's like church yeah. brew works okay. level yeah. stained glass yeah. monkey. Yeah, stained glass monkey. Okay. But ba- white. Band okay. name called it. Fair enough. Um, monkey. Is there? Did you get a town of Virginia that this is from? I believe it is on there. Yes, it is actually Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg, Virginia. Yes, oh. south of D.C. Yes. On, I believe, the I-95. Sure. If you're from California or from east, it's just 95. Sure. Or if you're really from east, hell. Okay. Because <laughs> I-95 sucks. 95 <laughs> is the freaking worst. I-95 and 495 is hell incarnate. It's, mm-mm, yeah. nope. Thumbs both down. I've never experienced, so oh, I'll just let it go. Never driven to D.C.? Nope. Don't. Uh, yeah. Mm-mm, nope. Yeah. Fly to Reagan. It's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and worth it. <laughs> so this beer is uh, malted with wheat, uh, and it is used with wildflower honey, coriander, orange, lemon peel, white pepper, and some hops. Hey, sounds like a white ale. Yeah, exactly. We're or not... a wit, Ooh. as it were, sometimes. Wit. Yes. You wit. could say that it is wit beer. brevity, because mm. it's wit. Mm. Jesus. Mm. That's not even really a good one. I'm not even going to acknowledge that one. Yeah, sorry. Moving on. That's all right. You got, you got another hour and a half. I'm sure you're going to pull out something <laughs> worthwhile. I'll figure something That out. was not your moment. <laughs> you shot your shot in 2019. Wasn't a great one. That's okay. That's an error. I That's an air ball. I can't process that we have like two 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 and a half months of 2019 left. Hell yeah. Of this decade left. Yeah. Hell yeah. Then it's going to be the roaring 20s. Hell yeah. Jesus, it's almost over. Can we call it something else other than the Roaring Twenties? Yeah. Twenties. We should come up with something else. Something cool. Bark. I don't know. We'll barking? Roaring? Barking? Put it on the Twitter. Meowing? So we have poured this beer out from Strange Ways. Yes. It looks like a wit. Yeah, it looks like a, a wit. A Belgian. It's got a little bit of a, you know, uh, orangey color to it. Yeah. Which it should. Yeah. And it's very clear, which mm-hmm. is nice. Very clear. It is. On the nose, multi. A little bit. Yeah. I don't believe I gave out numbers. Okay. Well, well do you give them out now? <laughs> sure. Yeah. They're right there. I see them. Yeah. There five five percent. And twenty-five. Twenty-five. I uh, be use. I be use. Ibu. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little more multi than I would like. You forgot a number. On the nose. It, sa- it says twelve fluid ounces. Oh, good call. Twelve in, is twelve is the number. In the bottle. Yeah. Not bad. It's okay. It's not, I don't know, it, it's not impressing me as a No, as but it's a not beer. disappointing me either. I, well, it's disappointing me. I see, I, I'm, not dis- <laughs> I'm not disappointed by it. It, it. I feel like I get the pepper while I'm drinking it, and I enjoy that. I'm not getting, like, any of it. I'm not getting it after the fact. But, I'm like, not getting any of it. it. <laughs> However, comma, mm-hmm. I, I hate pepper. 
Mm -hmm. in general i like it in some beers and i like spice but like just your basic white pepper or black pepper i generally don't like Mm. so i might be more sensitive to it probably probably so yeah this is just it's to me it's fine which kind of sounds like an insult but it's really not no i like it i have no beef with it i I don't dislike it correct yeah i i would agree with that I'm I don't dislike it. it. I just, it's this I just that, don't think it's a really good white ale. Yeah. That's okay. all. <laughs> all right. If it's this or that blueberry thing, I'm drinking this. <laughs> that, I, know, yeah. I know that much. Yeah, if it's this or wild blue, Fair 10 enough. out of 10. <clears throat> okay, yeah, if I'm we're going to put it in wild blue. Like, <laughs> that stuff is ass. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, we can easily all say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the meantime, let's get in some news notes. Neat. Mm-hmm. Steve, you seem like the kind of guy that has some news. I do have news. So what do you got? They've announced the... Craft Beer Marketing Awards. Who is they? It's Craft Brewers. All right. Craft Beer Marketing Gods, obviously. Uh, God damn. The, uh, the it, bearded and flanneled ones. Yes. Uh, they will actually be awarded at the Craft Brewers Conference, Okay, which is you know the big trade show, mm-hmm. which is different from GABF. That's the big That's show just, off the beer show. Right. The CBC is for everybody to come. Mm. Industry, That's basically. Your, your vendors, your distributors, your is brewers. Like the home and garden show of beers? Yes. Makes sense. Because it's not really about the beers. It's more about equipment yeah. and shit like that. And distribution and shaking hands and making deals. Right. And finding a cheap canning line and other things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they are adding the Craft Beer Marketing Awards to the 2020 CBC. Huh. That's okay. being held in San Antonio, Texas. I've been there. I have not. I should go. It's really nice. I'd like to go. Okay. Well, then why don't you go down there and do some reporting? When is it? 2020. <laughs> <laughs> just, That's a whole year. Just they post it up Can down there. Yeah, it down? Wait, yeah. It's just like they take over a room in a convention center for a whole year. It's like <laughs> a little museum. <laughs> you just come and go as you please. Just poke my head in the door every day. Is this it? <laughs> no. I is think, this it? <laughs> I think it's like March or May. One of those M. Mm. Yeah, one of those M months. November. <laughs> November. Mulai. But they are awarding craft beer marketing awards. And if you have done any kind of marketing or, you know, graphic design or anything for a brewery, you're welcome to enter. Okay. They have awards for best bottle design, best can design, packaging, video, social media, logo, merch. And then they also have one for best tap handle. That's interesting. Yeah. All right. I, I thought it was kind of interesting. Like, all the other categories I've mentioned, like, all of them, they all break down into smaller subcategories. Okay. Um, but And so does Tap Handle. And they have three awards. They have Unique Tap Handle, mm-hmm. okay. Innovative Tap Handle, and Sustainable Tap Handle. Sustainable. Innovative and Unique feel like they could overlap to me. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit sustainables where it's just like a basic triangle and you can just slide out the name of the beer and slide a new one in it's reusable see my yeah. thought was you, i don't know i'm guessing you, you just mount a, a tube on top of a regular plant hand or a regular handle then you plant a little sapling in there and it'll grow I mean, that, you know I, some bullshit like that that's well, super you, sustainable it's sustainable but that's also unique you could put it in any of those categories <laughs> but what take them all needs dirt and then you're getting dirt in the beer when you're pouring that's mm. If you put it on top of an IPA, no one's going to know the difference. Or maybe put a succulent on top. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Air plant. <laughs> air plants. That's a thing. They don't have dirt. That's two. Yeah. Air yeah. plants. That's a true. Um, Stay tuned next week whenever we all come back with our own specially designed <laughs> tap handles. The other category they have is wild card. So that is most creative beer flight. Okay. So if you have a way of displaying your flight... Like Allegheny City, they have just a log mm-hmm. that they've cut into. <laughs> what? You know, if you have a boat or maybe that's creative. If You know, just however you display your beer flights. All right. That's the most creative way for that. I like mine in glasses. Well, they, I mean, the glasses go in the board, <laughs> but there's always, you know. Just you don't say. know that. <laughs> we don't know. You could, but yeah, somebody might have, have something really creative. You could have people a beer. <laughs> right, they could serve them in, you know, those little Tide Pod things. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey like that. I think that's only scotch. As, for now yeah for now give them a week uh coolest tap room retro branding and best rebrand are the other wild card categories. best rebrand yeah can mm. i get an example of a rebrand 
So like if you've been running with the same logo from 1995 that is, you know, looks like it was designed on MS Paint. Because it was. Could probably because it was. 95. Right. You know, and you bring somebody in to rebrand. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, Rivertown has gone through that lately. Yeah. Not that I So, helped. Rivertown could be well, eligible for that. Rivertown right. might have been legally obligated to do that. That's, That's also true. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't need to know the means <laughs> behind it. The <laughs> why yeah. doesn't matter. It's, <laughs> do, it does it look better. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. all. Don't need to, get, you know, delve into that. Yeah. But yes, uh, everybody who's produced anything from January 2018 to October 2019 is eligible to enter. Uh, your early beer deadline is November 29th, and that's $115. Oh, eh, it sounds like it sounds like a lot, but you're talking about companies. Are there stipulations, <laughs> oh, yeah. or can I enter? Have you made anything for a brewery? I'm that's asked, been used? That's why I'm asking if there's stipulations. You, well, you have to have had. You'd had to had. I just want to throw my name in there. Do anything that I could make fell a, into those categories. I could make a sticker and put sure. it on things that would be merch everything is rebranded sure that would be merch but somebody has to pay you for that <laughs> that brings up an interesting could I, point could i have a nickel please <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a brewery <laughs> are are there any non-brewery awards for no <laughs> well, okay all right i don't know like for distributors and equipment and things like that they oh, have to advertise valid as question. well <laughs> valid question <laughs> Thank you. The whole point of it is the home and garden aspects. If you're going to have like your your malts and distributors and probably a $3,000 growler that stays cold an extra three minutes. I suppose that the video and the social media categories and maybe the logo category could fall into all that. I would, I would think so. So those could yeah. be exclusively yeah. marketing companies. Yeah, like CNC Malt, I guess, could shoot for something in that if they had a like a good social standing message video or right. something yeah i guess so <laughs> why don't you know all these things is there, is there a pamphlet i have questions yeah. there's a website how about that <laughs> what about is you? the website website i don't know just search craft beer marketing awards oh, and right. you'll get there i don't understand this website yeah. is it can i read it no <laughs> obviously not Do because you don't know what a out? website is <laughs> it's in braille i need a pamphlet yeah. hand it to me on the subway platform please <laughs> look all you guys are being <laughs> so negative right now and none of you are going to award uh, win a crushy a crushy <laughs> that's what it's called <laughs> uh, i'm out that, that pains me <laughs> me too a little bit <laughs> uh, i'm just the orange crush in my head because <sighs> because it it's crushy it's crush as in, you know, it's crushable, and we yeah. hear that a lot with beer. But I also hear the word crush a lot in marketing and, like, just uh, the work I do. We're going to crush it. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're crushing it, bro. And it's like, ah, I'm not crushing it. I'm just doing my fucking job. <laughs> Christ almighty. Crushy. <laughs> just send money. It sounds like a cereal. It, that sounds, yeah, it sounds like a cereal. Crushies. Yeah. Now with more crush berries. It sounds like a very crunchy cereal. Crushies has clusters of crushies something. in my head is like a fruity pebbles captain crunch mashup Ooh, that's what i mm, see yeah but it turns the milk like like tie-dye colors before it turns into like a nastiness if you swirl it all around <laughs> i think i have my saturday plan now. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what i see that in my head <laughs> sounds like adam's just making a mess <laughs> just heavy yeah. sh heavy sugar cereal but it's in my kitchen so that's i don't why, have yeah, to yeah, care I yeah i don't give a shit crushies uh yeah, it's a crushy. The award is kind of cool looking. Okay. It's a it's a basically a forearm holding a beer can. All right. And the forearm has like a flash, uh, like a flash sheet of tattoos. Flash. That are all. No. There's a hand. Oh, right. There's a hand also. Yeah. There's, there's the beer a, just attached to the this, forearm. <laughs> no, the is hand. I said the hand is holding water? a beer. <laughs> it's a forearm that, that includes everything down from the elbow. That's not my forearm. That's my hand. I count forearm as everything from the elbow down. <laughs> when you say arm, you don't disclude the hand, okay, right? Is your foot part of your shin? Snap. Huh? No, because the shin, <laughs> because the shin is a very specific part. This is obviously me post gobbler yeah. I'm a little hilarious <laughs> right now. A oh shin my. is a very specific part. <laughs> I feel forearm is very specific because this is not no. my forearm. No. This is my forearm. No. See, shin, I count, that's that counts as like all the meat and that front bone. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. I don't consider yeah, forearm. this my forearm. So no. for me, forearm is everything from elbow to wrist. Once you get to the wrist, that's a whole other situation. The wrist is independent. Yeah. There's seven bones in there, or nine. <laughs> Which is it? 
You watch Jeopardy. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. That's double Jeopardy. I don't do well in those categories. Oh, okay. Every, obviously, everybody has semantics different. Yeah, but ours are right. No, they're not, because you two don't even agree, I don't think. Well, whatever it takes. Everybody shut up. Okay, eight. I was so close. <laughs> Seven or nine, somewhere in there. Well, that seems neat. Yeah, if you've done any creative work for a brewery, check it out. Mm-hmm. Are the tattoos on the forearm beer related? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a flash sheet of beer related tattoos. Huh. Yeah. See, I wish it was just tattoos of the flash. That'd be awesome. Nope. Yep. Now you're going to have to try again later. That's all right. All right. You're swinging way hard today, but like... I don't think so. <laughs> Setting is on the pirates. It's fine. Aw, <laughs> uh, the buckos. In other news, we'll let Steve off the hook here a little bit. Utah is pouring out beer. What? Yeah, you go. Utah like Boston can suck Tea it. Party style? Kind of, yeah. A little bit. A little bit. That is sacrilegious, Mormons. Yes. Yes. Wait. What the, the reasoning behind this is on November 1, All Saints Day... They have a change in law where in their uh, grocery stores and convenience stores and things like that, before Halloween, uh, you could only have beer up to 3.2% ABV. Yes. But after Halloween, you can go up to 5% ABV. So they're dumping the 3.2? What the issue is, is anything that before was above 3.2, but in the future will be above 5, will still only be available in state-run liquor stores. And military installations. And, and military installations. Hint, hint. Go to the PX. So what that creates is a bit of an overlap between the 4% and the 5%. There's an overlap. And any of the beer that is on store shelves on November 1 will no longer be able to be sold at the liquor stores. Oh. So if there is nobody to buy it, they can't uh, they can't sell it and they can't return it to the dis- to the distributor. So they're gonna throw it out. That's there has to be colleges besides Brigham Young in Utah that would make. That. All they gotta do is call some people up, quote unquote, throw it out. Yeah, out behind the dumpster. Yeah. How like and it'll be you fine. Can't sell it to me. Sell me the cardboard box. Right. Oh, and it has is... bottles in it. That's oh, inconvenient. Yeah. Jeez. Ain't that something? But me. If I'm a young entrepreneur and I live in the state of Nevada, mm-hmm. Nevada touches. <laughs> what if right. they're not dumping it out? What if they're just straight up throwing away the bottles? There's gonna be like so many happy homeless people and raccoons <laughs> and rakins. Yes. No, nah, rakins can't get into those bottles. Try them. <laughs> Them fuckers are wily, man. Yeah, they're they wily, but I have never seen one they open a bottle. They can wield a knife. They can open a bottle. It's true. Mm, I just don't feel like they understand leverage no. that well. <laughs> oh, they do. Yeah. Those smart little bastards. Yep. I think you guys are wrong. <laughs> you guys are also wrong on your animal facts. <laughs> you guys are wrong about what Rakins forearms are. are. just like <laughs> like black and white version of, of red pandas, mm-hmm. but smarter because red pandas are afraid of frogs. But too cute. Oh, God, they're so fucking cute. It hurts. Yeah. One ran right past Harold. Oh, Harold was in China. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you have to <laughs> <laughs> Harold was in China for a couple of weeks, and he went to a panda sanctuary? Experience. Express? <laughs> no, I think it was a sanctuary. I went to Panda Express. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? I'm not a big fan of Panda Express. Well, don't chicken? be sorry for me just because you're not a fan. You don't like the orange chicken, really? Eh, it doesn't do anything. The for orange me. chicken's pretty fire. The shrimp is great. Is mm. that the one with bourbon chicken, too? Mm, they do do bourbon, yeah. But the shrimp is great. Doesn't do much for me. I've never had shrimp. The walnut shrimp? To Fuck be fair, yeah. the only time that I ever saw them was in like a mall food court. And I probably just have this whole strict no eating seafood in a mall food court policy. Mm. It's a good policy. Mm. I've been eating Panda Express in college. That was the big thing on Penn State campus. Mm. Main campus. You wouldn't know that, Adam. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> well, I mean, whatever off brand Penn State he went to probably didn't have that on. Off brand Penn State. You went State. to Greensburg, said, didn't you? I did not. New Ken? Nope. Further. Huh. <laughs> Further. Yeah. I don't I don't know what else there is. Oh, exactly. <laughs> That's how bad it is. It was Penn State Baron. <laughs> B- Baron? It's an eerie. Baron. Yes. As in Wasteland. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it's spelled different. <laughs> but yeah. Like, just checking. Yeah. We usurped your moment. Was that it for Utah? Well, yeah, pretty much. 
Yeah, Utah's, so, pre- Utah's pretty unremarkable. Utah's doing. My aunt lives there, and that's the full list of good things about Utah. Yeah, they're doing wackadoo stuff out there with their beers, <laughs> but at least they're trying. They they have growing pains. Yes, you know they gotta they gotta redo everything. They're trying, yeah. and we'll commend them for that. But they could have done so much better. It, look, it's better that they're throwing things out because things are confusing. Because they can have higher ABV beer now. In their grocery stores, yeah. Rather than them just doing away with all beer and resorting back to prohibition. Right. And they're just throwing beer out. Right. So, Although, if that were the case, I would definitely be investing in land on all major highways at the state line. Oh, of course. So I can make liquor palaces yeah well yeah i mean that's the same way that phantom fireworks got their start they just set up a bunch of fireworks shops all around the perimeter of pennsylvania Mm -hmm. yep hello boardman (laughs) and the vintage estates yep (laughs) and now they have a hockey team that too you ever watched one of those matches no it it's not hockey it's literally boxing on ice Mm. there's like 16 17 year old kids just killing each other okay it's it's a good time Oh, I yeah. bet they have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Would recommend. <laughs> Youngstown Phantoms. Do the hockey. Do, check do, it out. Do we play the Wheeling Nailers? Are they in that same league? Oh gosh, that's a good question. I don't know. Okay. I believe that is the uh, ECHL that they're in. Yeah, the the step below the AHL. Right. Right. Yeah. So there you know. go. That's uh, Utah drinking. Cool. So my news story. It's not really neat. It is news. It's not yeah, neat. That, yeah. But it's also kind of neat because it's just so fucking comical. I can't even believe it's real. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, everybody here knows, but I keep forgetting I'm talking to imaginary people. You're talking right. to the world. You're talking to the, the world. world. The world that's informed so, and on the pulse. <laughs> South Africa, listen, there's this place, or brewery rather, called Founders Brewery. Brewing, and we they, don't talk to South Africa much, but Argentina. Argentina? Yes. Check it out, Argentina. <laughs> Is that Spanish or Portuguese? Spanish. I don't speak yeah. either. It's actually moot. Yeah, Brazil is <laughs> Portuguese. <laughs> Donde esta mi pantalones? And that's Spanish by Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. Uh, yeah, so Founders Brewing Company, uh, according to this, America's 14th largest craft brewery in Michigan is uh stirring the water there a little bit so they had an employee named tracy evans and he had a uh attempted i don't know if he even actually succeeded he attempted to file an a human resources complaint uh that the company was racist and that he, there was a lot of issues of discrimination going on where he worked for example this one I can't wrap my head around. <clears throat> they had a oh gosh, I gotta like look it up and because I don't want to mess it up. You don't, you don't have you. to look it up. My, they no. they had well, no the he, the printers. Yeah, they can't, had, what was the printers called? Well, they had a pl- uh, they That's had two printers set up. The and management they had a sign. printer, yeah, management printer was called the white guy printer, and uh, the printer for the lower tier employees was called the black guy printer. Yeah, that's just. And then there was a number of issues really with subtle. with other employees using the N-word around him. Yeah, so and that was that was constantly happening. and uh, I don't think it was constantly happening, no, but it, it happened it's, enough. It says right. repeatedly happened. And, like and it was blatant. There's just lots of issues of blatant yeah. racism. The big, the big problem was that the employees who were using that weren't ever reprimanded or fired. Or yeah. mm-hmm. they never had any kind of... So, so um, Evans was... What is it called? It, they never had any of the... Uh, uh, sensitivity training right nothing was put in check yeah so we'll get to that so tracy evans was trying to file a complaint for basically all the reasons that steve just said and uh they went ahead and fired him before that could really happen and so he is suing for basically that for wrongful termination and for the way that they were behaving and my favorite part of all of this is that the manager that tracy evans worked for who also, apparently, he knew prior to having this job ends up in trial on the stand where Evan's attorney asked him how long he had known him, if he knew him before he worked at Founders, which he said yes, and are you aware Tracy is black? So then Ryan, the guy, manager on the stand, is asking, what do you mean? I'm not sure of his lineage. I can't say. 
What do you mean by that? I'm asking for clarification. <laughs> As the lawyer continues to find more direct ways to say, the man sitting right there with the black skin, did you know he has black skin? And Ryan's best answer to this was that I'm not aware of his lineage. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer tosses in, well, can you tell if somebody is black or white? Like, is his skin different from, from yours? It just, oh, look up the transcript. It's, it's a very beautiful, beautiful thing. They're just digging holes. It's hilariously sad. It's so yes, sad. It's hilariously sad. No, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know his DNA. It, 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 it delves back into, like, the times when Bill Clinton was deposed. Mm-hmm. And it, get, oh, it gets yeah. into that kind of mental gymnastics area. Oh, right? it really does. Uh, have you ever met a black person who didn't tell you they were black? Can you rephrase that? Is Barack Obama black? To, see- your, to your knowledge, <laughs> I've never met Barack Obama, so I don't know. So you don't know if Barack Obama is black. What about Michael Jordan? Do see, you know I- if Michael Jordan is black? <laughs> His response, I've never met him. I, I'll, give him I'll give him Barack Obama. Because Barack Obama does have a white parent. True. So he could have done the mental gymnastics mm-hmm. to flip flop of like, oh, I don't know what black means. You know, how, how black is black. He could have done those mental gymnastics. How black is black. Right. Okay, well, but he then he did Michael Jordan and then that's over. Right. Kwame <laughs> Kilpatrick. Right. Full stop. Yes, they're black. Yeah. It's like, yes, those are black people. How do you not know what black people look like? Yeah. So this case has been going on since almost the beginning of the year. And uh, I guess there was some questions about why it hadn't really gotten a whole lot of attention. But since the... Uh, that transcript came out it's gotten a lot more attention but then they took it even further in january founders hired a diversity and inclusion director this past weekend she quit she quit hard oh oh, that's (laughs) right she did she quit she quit and accused the company of only being concerned with winning the lawsuit and that they aren't actually concerned with the loss of customers, the loss of reputation, the loss of employees' well-beings. They're only concerned with winning, which, yeah, I mean... Which falls in let's line. Let's look at America these mm. days, you know, so that's yeah. about right. It's okay to be racist as long as you're winning. Yeah, and it, it, which falls in line with the way they've been acting, like... They don't try to settle out of court. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They that would have been the smartest move yeah. right off the bat. Just they're convinced they're going to win yep. this, and they're yeah. clearly not. Well, the smartest move would have been to not have it happen in the first place. Yes. But we're way past to that. To terminate anybody who's using the N-word, you right, know, right. or at, at the very least, hey, the first time they do it, maybe say don't do that. Right. Yeah, don't do that. And then we're having sensitivity training now. Right. Like, I've worked at a number of companies that, uh, you know, you can't control shitbag employees. Mm-hmm. And I've worked at a lot of companies that have had shitbag employees. Yep. They're not reflective of the man- management or anything like that. They're not reflective of me. Right. Yeah. But they do shitbag things, and then we all have to have diversity training. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all, uh, you have to go through those things because somebody is being an asshole. Right. <laughs> yeah. The thing is with founders is there too many people higher up are just letting this continue and they're fighting the suit they're completely complacent in it yeah and now the fallout is that they are having to close its detroit tap room over concerns for employee safety go figure yeah there could Mm. be some turmoil in detroit and that was also uh, yeah that coincided with the release of their final edition of cbs yeah which is you know all right that's i i don't want to say it's an event but People are going to show up for that. Well, no. yeah, they, I mean, it's an event. Not, it's their not event, in Michigan, but not anymore. Because no. apparently there's a whole band of Michigan bars and retail shops that have refused to sell founders. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or what they're doing is any founders they have left in inventory, they're selling, and any money that comes in off of that is being donated to, to various charities. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. They're just saying, we're getting rid of stock. Mm-hmm. We're not going to restock, but any money that comes in off of this... It's going out the chair. Yeah, it's going to go help people, which right. is, that's good too. Yeah, that's admirable. I'm pretty like, okay with that. Mm-hmm. that. And that's the ridiculous thing is they've let it get to this point. They keep defending themselves, you know, and saying, oh, we're going to win the suit. And it's not about winning the suit. Like, yeah, it just, <laughs> just and, and like you easily have scapegoats. Like you don't have to be at the top of the pyramid. Just say, oh yeah, these guys were assholes. Mm-hmm. Why are you getting behind them? <laughs> you picked the wrong team. Yeah. Like, how do you not know that's the wrong team to get behind anymore? Yeah. It, 
I don't get because it. it just makes you look like an like Katie said a complacent asshole. Mm-hmm. It's uh, ignorant. So, thankfully, there are a lot of other breweries out there anymore, and you don't have to drink Founders. Right. <laughs> we we shall uh, we shall survive without Founders. Yeah. yeah. What you can drink though is strange ways. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is going to be drank over Founders for quite some time. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, strange ways doesn't really distro here. No. But, but uh, I'm going <laughs> to no, have more strange ways than Founders here in the next yeah. <laughs> quite a while. Right. For sure. Thoughts. Final thoughts on the. Uh, Albino Monk E. It was okay. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, didn't love it. Didn't hate it. I yeah, liked it. That. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Same. I didn't hate it, but not my favorite weight. Fair. Okay. Fair. All right. Uh, let's take a a break. Mm-hmm. We'll get Dennis on, and then we'll come back. No, Dennis? I'm the one that talks. He doesn't do that <laughs> promo. I do that promo. You do yeah. that promo. You do. You do That's the right. first promo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't know. So stay tuned to listen to Adam talk about Dennis. <laughs> and then come back and then listen to me talk about beer. There you go. It's great. <laughs> we'll be right I was back. very confused. <laughs> so many words. First Sip Brew Box is a one-of-a-kind subscription service for craft beer lovers based right here in Pittsburgh. Every month, First Sip will send you a box full of craft beer enthusiast essentials, including t-shirts, glassware, and even food. Right now, our friends at First Sip Brew Box have an offer for you. Just sign up for a three-month subscription and get your fourth month free. Just enter the code HOPUSA when you sign up at FirstSipBrewBox.com. That's H-O-P-U-S-A at checkout to get your fourth month free at FirstSipBrewBox.com. We're back, bitches. No, we're not going to use that Language. One. <laughs> I started the episode by calling them tricks. <laughs> tricks and bitches. So segment oh, three is going to be hoes. Bitch, bitch is going to be illegal somewhere. Boston? Bitch is going to be illegal? Let's go back to news needs and notes. Okay. We're going to make it illegal to call people a bitch in Boston. Are you kidding me? They don't have enough room in jails. <laughs> That's probably like the I last feel confident. thing. That... <laughs> I feel confident it's Boston. They're just going to have to annex verify. Rhode Island. I feel like that can't be Boston. Boston has so many other problematic words. <laughs> right. I, <laughs> Mass- Boston and Philly are... <laughs> no. Massachusetts considers banning B-word. That... That's insane to me. Yeah. This can't be accurate. Yeah, I, you know what? I figured it out. It makes complete sense. How's that? They're, it's just going to it's gonna be a fine generator. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, that's how they're going to fill the coffers. That's a revenue. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Since you can't have, you know, speed traps there anymore because the traffic's already backed up. Also, isn't uh, weed legal in Massachusetts now? Possibly. Yeah. So they can't just throw people in jail for owning a plant, so now they'll do it for your words. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right. Revenue generator. Yep. That's all it is. Oh, these fucking cocksuckers. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, apparently, anybody can, can, anyone can, can apply for legislation in Massachusetts, and some go- dude just... I thought you were going to say a bitch license. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Anybody can apply for a bitch license. Yeah, I'm here for my bitch license. <laughs> it was one of 69 bills given a hearing by the Joint Committee of the Judiciary. People nice. need to stop listening to people. <laughs> <laughs> Once filed, it must be given a hearing. So that's what happened. So some guy literally just initiated this because anybody can, and somehow it got attention. All right. Well, there's your bonus news. Yeah, from the Massachusetts, Massachusetts Republican Party took to Twitter to attack the bill and its sponsor. Oh, it has a sponsor now. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. So welcome 2019, where the rules are made up and the points don't matter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> don't worry. They'll get your money one way or another. So let's talk that's about stuff that matters. That's all they're doing. They're just getting your money. Anyway, all right, I'll get off my... is Massachusetts a Commonwealth? Isn't that one yes. of the other yes, ones? Yes, that's the other one. Okay. No, there's four of them. Well, that's uh, another one. That is another uh, yeah, one. Yeah, so another it's one. Pennsylvania, Virginia, Massachusetts. And Kentucky. And Kentucky. Oh, uh, I don't want to be associated with them. I'm they're not bad. They're fine. They got Country yeah. Boy Brewing. I lived yeah. in... Beer-wise, they're fine. Full stop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I lived in Indianapolis and... I worked at a gas station when I lived there, and we get people coming up from Kentucky, and you'd have ten people in their store and three teeth between them. Except for when we came through for Bonnaroo, because I I would stop at gas stations and get beer and choco tacos. Up in that average, and get turned up. There was some reason they would come. I'm away in the Tennessee. I don't know if it was like lottery laws or that sounds right. Or cheaper cigarettes or something. Well, whatever it was, it was vice. 
Yeah. That's oh, why people yeah. that's why people cross state lines. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Vice. <laughs> but Virginia is the Commonwealth that matters today. Yes. Yes. Because we are talking beers from the Commonwealth of Virginia. Hey Katie, which one are we drinking? We have Star Hill, Star Two R's Hill, Two, two R's. L's. Star Hill Brewery, Last Leaf Maple Brown Ale. And this mm. bottle says something mm. I, I uh T I L. It says an English brown ale made with real Virginia maple syrup. Featuring subtle vanilla notes and a smooth malty character. So this is going to be like for Adam and me. Yeah. This for me. For me. And for you. <laughs> and for Steve. And Hello. for Steve. We're inclusive. <laughs> okay. Hello. Charlottesville, Virginia. But the thing that my today I learned is I did not know that there were uh, maple trees indigenous to Virginia. Yeah, neither this did was I. made with real Virginia maple syrup. So, well, maybe not indigenous. Maybe they're just like the cherry trees. Maybe somebody put them there and they're just managing to thrive. I, I don't know. They were shipped in specifically to make syrup. I mean, that's a pretty good reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, God forbid a politician drive it for far for syrup. <laughs> I can't have that. I have a hunch that the maple trees are indigenous to Virginia. That makes sense. You just don't hear about it. Do right. we have maples? We, yeah. Oh, absolutely. We oh, have well, for sure. then they probably have yeah. maples. Yeah. Yeah. Virginia got, touches. They have a lot of stuff. That Potomac River Valley, man. Fer- fertile lands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, we've got uh, plenty of maple farms here in Pennsylvania mm-hmm. to hmm. get pure Pennsylvania maple syrup. We also have a thing called the uh, Beaver County Maple Syrup Festival. Wait, we do? Yeah. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. That. Every, every year. Yeah. I'm going to go. They, okay. They schedule my drill weekend <laughs> for that every year. Wow. It's also the best place to buy black garlic, which is completely unrelated to maple, but Interesting. it's there. Yeah. I don't know I why. Did, that I did not and know And I about. have a real hard on for black garlic. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. Well then, Hot oh. Nation's going on the road. For like five minutes that's for fine. me it, it will take us 10 minutes about from yeah. where we are right yeah. now <laughs> but uh, back to the star so star last leaf last leaf it is the color of brandy yeah for a brown mm-hmm. ale it's got a lot more red it's it got does. a good reddish hue it's to it actually really pretty it looks like a late fall day it does and it's very clear mm-hmm. it, like good clarity on the beer a very handsome beer it is it's nice looking. I mm. enjoy it. Yeah. Good upbringing. I have little bubbles in mine like the shape of the Alaskan Islands. I got Cuba. <laughs> nice. I got a good smelling beer. Yeah, it smells good. It smells sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it smells, again, it smells malty, but mm-hmm. it has more sweetness yeah. to it. I'm genuinely excited right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep. yep. That yep. is sweeter than I was prepared for. I like it. Oh, Dun. that hurts my teeth. What was the <laughs> ABV on this sum, sum of a gun? Since I'm not allowed to use I that word. S- I'm going to guess 6.5. I think it's 6.1. I don't know. You, no, I mean, mm. like, I'm pretty sure that's what I looked up. Yes, yeah, 6.1. 6.1? One. Okay. Yes. You're in a good commonwealth. True. Where we can say bitch, biatch, biznatch, all we want. It's true. Beezy. Beezy? Beezy? Yeah. Is that one? Yeah, Beezy's one. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, oh. Yeah, you guys never heard Beezy? Today I learned. Yeah. Today we both learned. Mm-hmm. Today was yeah. a good day. I'm glad I got out of bed. You guys need to listen more hip hop. What day was today? <laughs> when today was a good day? Friday, as you should. Friday, no. November first. <laughs> you don't get that reference. I didn't have to get my AK. Song oh. was a good day. Oh, I, don't know, I was messing around. I got okay. a triple double. All Can right. I get up on your ice cubes? He gets it. I get it. There's a debate on which day it actually Wait, was. Wait, didn't I literally just give you a line from the song? I missed it. I oh. wasn't, sorry. <laughs> I was messing around, but I got a triple double. Oh, oh. I, yeah, I missed it. Yeah, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Good. We're all on board. All right, okay. We can get back to the beer. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes. Fuck, fuck America with the triple K. Woo. <laughs> Maple brown <laughs> ale. Let's sleep. Speaking of Virginia, <laughs> Star Hill. <laughs> Steve. Let's keep the racism out of the rest yeah. of the episode. <laughs> no, that's another. <laughs> I know it is. I'm just saying it's really apropos because we're talking about Virginia. Oh, yeah. Oof. Lee. Exactly. Oof. <laughs> Dance around that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, last leave. Pretty damn good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, cu- I'm curious how this is going to change as it gets a little bit warmer. Mm-hmm. I have a hunch it's going to get better. Uh, it turns red and then it falls over. Oh, ow. Last leaf. Get it. Anyways. We're really all over the board today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to stay in Virginia. Steve, what do you have for us about Virginia? <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> Let's bring it back. back on track. <laughs> As we do with our state profile episodes, mm-hmm. nowadays at least. We didn't do it with all our episodes, but <laughs> this is what we do nowadays. Are there states I'd, I need to go back to? Do we need a do-over? Probably Florida. Florida 2.0? Yeah. 
But anyway, as we do with our state episodes, <laughs> we like to do a little bit of the history deep dive and do a profile of the state. Mm-hmm. In Virginia, they have 236 breweries as of 2018. That's substantial. Yes. That's a good number. Makes them 12th in the union. Hmm. Where yeah. are we? Um, six. Oh, we're losing. But we're number one in production. Yeah. Thank you, Yangling. <laughs> a Yang <Ugh>. gang. <laughs> Did you guys have that chocolate porter yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Um, I, I don't know where it is. Uh, JR's has it on sale. Five dollars for a crowler. Duffy's oh, has it as well really? down in the South Hills. Ooh. That might be worth a drive for me on Friday. Oh. Uh, you mean today? <laughs> yes, as you should. <laughs> I could have meant next Friday. Nah, I don't know if it'll still be there. <laughs> Production in Virginia though is four hundred and five thousand barrels. Okay. So yeah, it's okay. Not Pennsylvania numbers. Yeah, that's right. But it's okay. <laughs> So, diving all the way back into the deep, deep history, Virginia obviously home to some of our earliest colonies, Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, back in that time, water was shit. (laughs) Sometimes literally. Yeah, well, quite literally, and then it would give you the shits, and Mm -hmm. a lot of people died from dysentery. (laughs) So, instead of drinking water, people drank beer. So, because in that time, everything was bad, Mm -hmm. they even had legislation for people coming across Europe into the New World. Uh, They found it in 1623, Mm -hmm. and they said if you're coming across from Europe to the New World, then you have to bring enough malt to brew your own beer. Oh, okay. It it was a thing where, like, there wasn't really a centralized pub Mm -hmm. or alehouse or anything at that time. It was mostly a thing in the home because everybody had to drink, and everybody couldn't drink water. (laughs) Right. <laughs> uh, interesting fact about that is that that's so old in times that it is actually you know considered quote unquote a woman's duty to be the brewer. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. And if you go way back in our archives, we've actually learned that the uh, the word brew is synonymous with woman in I forget which language. I think Proto Germanic. That makes sense. Yeah. So how do we get witches brew? I don't know. It gets there. Okay. <laughs> but it's br- uh, B-R-U is like one of the and early. I'm, I believe there's an umlaut involved in there as well. Yeah. Brew. Yeah. Like brute. It's brute. very, very delicate feminine word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it was syn- it was synonymous with woman and then, you know, women were brewers. So there right. you go. Checks out. Uh, jumping ahead a little bit. 1754, Georgia Washington. You heard of him? Georgia? No. No, Georgia Washington. No. He's a popular feller in the history. Every day when he'd get home from work, his wife would have a big fat bull waiting for him. He was 10 feet tall. <laughs> and a blue ox named Babe. Aw, oh, they're nope. confused, man. Nope. Okay. All right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the 1754 is when George Washington pens his uh, somewhat infamous uh, brewer's recipe. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, we've... Talk, we've also <laughs> talked about this on the episode we have. way long time ago because it is like pretty much incomprehensible for nowadays. It doesn't make a lot of sense. You couldn't really brew it yourself anymore. <laughs> it's like boiling hops first and then adding three gallons of molasses to 30 gallons of boiled hop water. It's yeah, complete nonsense, and apparently it doesn't taste very good. But that's early beer. Who made this? George Washington made this. No, no, no. Like, who made it recently to verify that it doesn't taste good? Oh, I did just other... Like, a lot of people who find it, they try it. That seems like a waste. I don't know. It's on the if it's on the Brewers Association website. I would have to make it sm- like a small batch, because three gallons of molasses cannot be cheap. No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's three gallons of molasses, 30 gallons of water. It's... It's a large batch, and it was obviously made, like, on his plantation, because back in those times, most plantations had breweries. So, uh, 1789, first year of his presidency, he proclaims, you know, he, he pushes forward a buy-only American. Okay. Because uh, you know, young country. Buy. Yep. You want to promote American trade. This whole fuck the British thing going on there. hmm mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, he vowed to only buy American-made porters. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So Don't blame him. Leading the way. Wasn't a porter an occupation then? It was, uh, no, because there weren't trains. Oh. Ha. <laughs> okay. No, there probably were porters for boats. I was going to say for, yeah. for, <laughs> for boats. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Jumping ahead a little bit further, but still back in the olden times, 1815. Huge mm-hmm. jump. Yeah. 
<laughs> Huge jump. Thomas Jefferson was... I heard uh, of him. TJ, for yeah. sure. Old TJ. That's a school district. <laughs> out of Monticello. <laughs> TJ straight out of Monticello. <laughs> he uh, was wow. trying to establish a national brewery. Oh, yeah. okay. He was in talks with a fellow by the name of Joseph Coppinger, who was a brewer out of America, or... <laughs> also from America. I was reading Much like Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> I was reading ahead of my Georgia, notes. Washington. Yeah, he was actually a brewer out of Ireland, but he came to America. Oh, uh, uh-huh. he spent a, he spent a little bit of time in New York, and he wrote the book "The American Practical Brewer and Tanner." That's an so, odd combination. Yeah, mm. but he was pretty much a, a you know he was on the forefront front of brewers in America, mm-hmm. so he was in contact with uh, both Thomas Jefferson and James Madison during their presidencies and talks about you know national breweries hmm. uh interesting thing about joseph coppinger is he arrived in america and then actually moved to pittsburgh oh, and spent some time connection. yeah spent some time in pittsburgh he worked at the pittsburgh point brewery which was the brewery that was set up by the british at fort pitt Okay. And after, obviously, after they lost the war, mm-hmm. they just converted the brewery into an actual brewery. No more British soldier beer. <laughs> huh. American beer. I actually didn't know that. Yes. Hmm. Uh, it can, was... Can we reestablish it? No. Please? <laughs> I don't think the things are there. No. <laughs> um, at one point, they named... It had been renamed the Virginia Brewery. In Pittsburgh? Yes. Yeah weird because they were brewing based off thomas jefferson's style Ah, of brewing okay because he was a brewer himself Mm -hmm. so they were uh they rebased things on thomas jefferson's brewing style because he had been using native corn in the virginia area Mm -hmm. and adding it to the mash which was something that wasn't really done up in our area can i just go on a tangent for a second here maybe (laughs) we've been doing it all episode (laughs) i am an adult i'm married i don't have kids yeah Thomas Jefferson had kids. Like, he had a whole household of people he was responsible for maintaining. And, like, 80 different daily fucking jobs. Like, where did he find the time for all this shit? Yeah, because he was also, like, an architect and an mm-hmm. artist. And he did a lot of writing. Yeah, I, <laughs> Because they didn't have the internet. <laughs> they had to do something. <laughs> huh. When you don't have stupid shit filling your life, then you do creative things like brew and... <laughs> and architects. And architecture and history and politics. I mean, I still read books about history and... Right. I'm currently but in think, the process of pretending politics doesn't exist, right. so... But think of all... If you eliminate all the time you spend with Netflix, you just take all that out. Now all you have all those hours for other stuff. I made a pot last month. Out of yeah. clay. Right. It's pretty. So you still get to do those things, but then you would get to double those things. You could have made two pots. I just, could... <laughs> I get home from work and I have like four hours maybe until I go to bed. Well, see, that's the other thing is you got home from work. Thomas Jefferson worked from home. Right. <laughs> oh, I wish I could. He had a really short commute. Bastard. <laughs> he just woke up, went to the brewery, mm-hmm. did some writing. Right. Yeah. They, they, he I'm didn't cha- have that nine to five life. I'm changing my occupation. <laughs> Former president? Former president slash doodling at a brewery. There I don't know go. how much that pays, but I'm going to figure it out. Go fund me, people. Well, maybe <laughs> one day you can win a crushy. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get a crushy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, jumping ahead even further, mm-hmm. uh, leaving colonial times, more or less to civil war time that's about when things go kind of south for all brewing in the south ha we went through that in like north carolina Mm -hmm. like how the civil war like rationing of malts and grains and everything you couldn't really use it for anything but food and most of the time people reappropriated it to whiskey so you could get buzzed up quicker so you could eventually have a rye whiskey rebellion yes cool uh 1866 so post-war things are on the boom (laughs) richmond on the rise (laughs) Uh, there's a number of breweries opening up in the area including the james river steam brewery hmm yes steam beer no (laughs) but (laughs) but maybe (laughs) but maybe uh do you want to hazard a guess as to who was the owner of the james river steam brewery james i'll give you some hints we'll get there (laughs) 
Uh, Not James. Uh, it's on the James River. <laughs> it's on the James River. James Madison. No. Oh. <laughs> so it was actually a young David Jr. who had left his father's business in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Ah. Okay. Yes. If hmm. you're if you're up, it's David G. Yingling Jr. Mm-hmm. went and moved to Virginia to open his own brewery. Where he made chocolate, Hershey's chocolate port. In Virginia chocolate port. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, opened in 1866, uh, closed in 1879, mm-hmm. and then it mostly burned down in 1891. Well, that makes sense. All of the South was on fire at some point. At some point. However, the cellar tunnels are still uh, like in existence, and they're kind of a national uh, historic site. Oh, okay. so you can visit them. Then they're just like all the tunnels and cellars that they kept all the casks in. Ah, that's they're like cool. big stone, yeah, big stone walls and everything. Are they lined with the bodies and skeletons of humans, like in France? Mm, no, because they didn't really put them in the walls that way. <laughs> they buried them proper. Missed opportunity. I think that's a good way to get infected beer. Body rot is a good way to get infected beer. Uh, eighteen eighty-six, AB InBev. Mm. <laughs> known as anheuser Bush back mm. in the day right they they open a brewery in richmond hmm. and shortly after pbr and schlitz follow suit in richmond yeah because richmond on the rise <laughs> <laughs> i i did not know that those two actually started in richmond they didn't start in richmond oh okay no it's just because richmond was such a booming place ah they opened up a yeah, facility yeah. There. It, drew, oh. it, it drew in so much business okay yeah. i thought you were saying that that you actually said... started there no there there were three other um native richmond breweries there mm, okay. and then it was because it was so big on the rise and you said pbr and schlitz yes mm-hmm. so pbr and ew right <laughs> ah, <Well>. schlitz. <laughs> ah schlitz uh jumping forward obviously to 1916 Yes. Not obviously, but <laughs> jumping. I mean, I don't know how you couldn't come it's up with that It's actually pretty yeah. obvious because we've been making about 40-year jumps right. each time. So, uh, yeah, we could have seen that coming. Okay, well, uh, 19, I don't know anything. 1916. I can, I can numbers. Mm-hmm. And if you're listening on a Friday, as you should, exactly 103 years ago. To pro- the day. To the day. Prohibition is enacted in Virginia. Boo. Yeah. Yes. So, obviously, things stop. Bitches. <laughs> Bitches. They pulled a Utah and threw it all out. Right. This is the bad time. <laughs> they threw it all out. Dark time. Well, kind of. <laughs> it was more like what you were saying, where you pay someone to get rid of it for you. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then it well, just and goes to hide behind a secret door with a secret password. And let's just say that Virginia has a lot of backwoods. Yeah. And that's the way the, I mean, that's the way it was in Maine for a while, because they went prohibition early, too. Mm-hmm. But they could still sell it outside of the state which is it, it was it that was the so same bizarre. way it was in virginia uh you could still produce it but to send it out no elsewhere? i think oh, okay. no they i think they just went straight up that prohibition but there sense. was probably still bootlegging and oh absolutely yeah. well no the being able to produce it and sell it outside of the state makes sense though right because the whole issue is i don't want my husband to come home and beat me because he's yeah. drunk mm-hmm. so my husband's not getting access to the alcohol but my state's still able to make money right. yeah so and I, I can see why people would have been yeah. accepting of that yeah mm-hmm. and i'm sure because it was 1916 and it was earlier before federal prohibition there's a good chance that that was happening yeah i just didn't find any exact okay. examples for virginia so yeah jumping ahead again this is big that this is bigger than 40 years so. oh Aww. all right yes uh, jumping ahead to 1983 40, okay 42 the, years the year of thriller yeah chess bay is the first modern craft brewery to open in virginia chess of what chess bay so they chesapeake bay we made it one word right chess bay right okay <laughs> they chess bay All if right. you if it's no longer in operation but there are a number of other chesapeake bay breweries mm-hmm. bay, bay, like there's bay. one in Nap- annapolis okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and i think there's another one what else would touch the chesapeake uh north carolina uh, I think there's one in North Carolina as well. Might, yeah. Uh, d- does no Delaware doesn't, or does it? I think it does. Delaware does as well. Yeah, I okay. believe it does. But I don't think it's in Delaware. Okay. I think I read it was North Carolina. But yeah, anyway, right. there was Chess Bay. Chess Bay was first, 1983. Mm-hmm. Uh, no longer in operation though. Oh. Bill. However, in 1987, they did win a gold medal for their Doppelbach mm-hmm. at the very first Great American Beer Fest. Hooray. Yes. One of the OGs. One an OG and an OG winner. Currently, though, the longest running in operation brewery, mm-hmm. craft brewery, is Legend Brewery 
And it opened up in Richmond in 1994. Huh. Yes. So Jurassic Park is older than the oldest continuing brewery in Virginia. Yes. I mean, if that's how you want to relate it, sure. Huh. I mean, it's true. I am huh. also older. You are also yeah, older. We all are. But we'll go with Jurassic Park. Yes. Legend Brewery is o- lo- uh, older than The Matrix, though. So you got that. That's very true. So, uh, what year was The Matrix? 99. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Right before the millennium. No millennium. You want to brought millennium. Right when all our computers <laughs> were going to crash. Yeah. Uh, the end of times. Yeah. Legend Brewery, though. I feel like Adam would be appreciative of. How so? Well, they're a brew pub. They have a Reuben. I like it already. And I believe they only make one IPA. <laughs> Sign me up. There's a lot of classic styles. And then they have a beer called the Z-Dam. The Z-Dam? Yeah, the Z-Dam. So Adam can have a Z-Dam. <laughs> I got it at both ends. From A to Z. Yeah. It's a pale ale made with ginger and uh, lime Ew. and orange. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Not exa- not exactly what you want, but that's all right. I'll do some road trip. They do. They do have Oktoberfest and loggers. Mm. That's most of what they yeah, have. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be fine with all that. Yeah. I'm good with that part. Yep. I don't do ginger. Road tripping. It's ironic. <laughs> I know that I don't like ginger, but is what it is. Uh, a couple other notable breweries. Obviously, there's Star Hill. Mm-hmm. Uh, two silos. Aslin, The Vale, Hardywood. Oh, the Virginia Beer Company. The Vale. Yeah. Oh. A lot of people know the Vale. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's Ale Works, and it was started in Colonial Williamsburg, hmm. and they do Colonial beers. Mm-hmm. Like they had, they it's kind of a Colonial bend. There's a lot of old styles there, but they also have new stuff too, like a pancake stout and pumpkin beers and things like that. Yes. So, <laughs> yes, they, they do a little bit of everything. And one other thing to consider is, and we've already talked about them uh, in our Washington D.C. episode, mm-hmm. but there's a lot of breweries up in Northern Virginia or oh, the yeah. Nova area. Yeah, the, they, a lot of people they just associate with Washington D.C. Yeah, but in reality, they're Virginia breweries. There's a lot of touch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to name specifics. If you want to hear them. Go listen to the episode. Go back to the DC episode. It's a That's kettle right. puddle. It's all there. Mm-hmm. Uh, one notable thing about Aslan yes. is a brewery that we featured on the show in the past. Um, they have something that I've never heard of from any other brewery. So if you've heard of this, tell me and we'll talk about it. All right. But Aslan has a barrel program. And the barrel program is you have your chance to brew your own bourbon barrel beer with their equipment. And it takes about 12 to 16 months because they will sit it in their storehouse and age it for you. You get to pick your choice of barrel, as in, you know, bourbon, gin, or tequila. Hmm. Uh, you get to pick your choice of crazy adjuncts. Nice. <laughs> because uh, Aslan, they, they do a Black Friday release similar to Bourbon County Stout. Mm-hmm. But they're not an AB InBev product, so go there instead. <laughs> <laughs> but they put out they put out a stout every you know November twenty fifth or whatever, every Black Friday, whenever mm-hmm. it is, uh, and it comes in a shitload of variants, <laughs> <laughs> and they're all goofy and they're all full of sugar, and I want them all. Yeah, Aslan doesn't make a bad beer. No, so yeah, but uh, they'll store they'll store the beer for you. They'll package it. They'll label it. They'll do everything you want. Uh, for the minimal price of six thousand dollars, <laughs> but you get two hundred fifty to three hundred bottles. That's yeah, okay. That'd be like a cool like wedding, yeah, thing. Like I can see like in in lieu of hiring like a bar or bartender or whatever and buying lots of bottles and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You could do something like that. That would be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you're having a Kim Kardashian style, you know, wedding, just a blowout. Your average it's wedding a- <laughs> is like twenty thousand dollars these I don't days. Know. It's insane. Yeah, I don't think thirty percent of your budget should be one beer. Yeah, the, the bottle be- of beer you send people yeah. home with. <laughs> Although now that I say it out loud, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think most of your budget should be alcohol. Oh, and it definitely needs to be a sizable portion. Yeah. Should be. <laughs> if you know what's good for you. <laughs> if you know what's good for you. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, the GABF mm-hmm. and how Chess Bay won a medal at the first one. Mm-hmm. 2019, there were 12 winners. Nicely uh, done. Of note, Star Hill was one. Ooh. They took home a gold for their Jomo, which is a Vienna-style lager. Right on. Hmm. And another one that, point, that just stuck out to me, uh, Bull Island. They took home a bronze for their chili beer, 
which was an oyster jalapeno porter. Those are words I never <laughs> thought I'd hear together. Me neither. That's why I brought it up. <laughs> I, 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 I've had the oyster stout from Great Lakes, right? Yeah. Or, yes, uh, great. Was it Great Lakes or was it Flying Dog? Flying Dog. Well, I've had the Flying Dog one as well. But I, I was trying. Is the Great Lakes one? I've had the Flying Dog one. Yeah, I've had them both. I was trying to think: was it Great Lakes or Erie? Oh. It had to have been Great Lakes then. Yeah. Because Great Lakes put one out thirtieth yeah. anniversary, I think. The Flying Dog okay. one yeah. was. It's okay. Yeah. Eh. And the Great Lake Lakes one is pretty good. Oh, okay. Adding jalapeno to a dark beer is never my favorite thing. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, but then it's also an oyster stout, and it's like okay, <laughs> but you want a bronze, so it must be good. <laughs> I had to do something right. That was that uh, most unique category. Uh, that was just, that was just chili beer category. <laughs> it's it had to be good then. Yeah, it had to be good. Yeah, so unless there are only three entrants in the chili beer <laughs> category this year. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that that's kind of my profile of Virginia. That's awesome. You got a lot of things going on there. There's a lot of things worth checking out. They're obviously the Nova area, mm-hmm. Charlottesville, and Richmond are all on travel lists. Yeah, and yeah. I heard that Richmond is on the rise. Yeah, Richmond, <laughs> Richmond on the rise. <laughs> Richmond's supposed to have a lot of great breweries, mm-hmm. just tons of them. That was, like that was the hub of like where things got started. So makes sense. It just kind of grew out from there. But you know, Charlottesville apparently has a couple of good ones, and you know, obviously the Nova area, and then they all make those lists that like you see Asheville on, and Colorado, and Fort Collins. Right. So yeah, check out Virginia. It's for beer lovers. Ah, got it. And when you're there, go to the Star Hill Brewery and get this last leaf. Yeah, get the last leaf and the Jomo. The maple brown ale. This is a good beer. It yeah, is. I enjoyed I like it. it. Big fan. Yeah. I didn't find it as sweet as Katie did, but it's... My, did I? my first sip, it really hit me, but mm. it tapered off as it went. Oh, I found it very enjoyable. Yeah. And one of the things that I've noticed with a lot of maple beers is you don't get that level of sweetness and maple that you should. Right. But this one had it. Yeah. So credit where credit is due. I didn't notice the vanilla, though. I, I, I think that. that was just kind of more masked yeah. and mm. helps helps along the maple. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it's the maple is very forefront and it's very clean. So, like, that's nice because, like Adam just said, you don't always get it. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good beer. Star Hill. Well done. Let's take a break. Yeah. We'll be back. Okay. Segment three. <laughs> Hi, this is Two Girls on a Bench, the podcast. So we're two writers who tend to procrastinate just a bit. We like to snack. We like to talk. We don't have time to write, but we have time to do this podcast. We certainly do. Join us on the bench. Listen in. At number two, Girls on a Bench. No, I'm not going to do some AS. Say welcome back. I'm not going to do some ASMR shit. I'm not good at that. I'm just telling you what to say. You're I'm supposed to say welcome back. I'm not going to tap my fingers on the glass, <laughs> trying to make things weird. Yeah. Oh, Michelob lighty. Yeah, I don't know. What? Wasn't that a Michelob light? Uh, I have no idea. Commercial? I don't watch commercials. Okay, well, it was for the Super Bowl. Oh. They did an ASMR. Gross. I also don't watch the Super Bowl. Well, okay, so <laughs> I'll direct my Isn't conversation ASMR over. Is ASMR supposed to be soothing? Yeah. And but gross beer doesn't make me calm. I agree. Well, obviously, <laughs> it didn't work out for Michelob because nobody's talking about that. Right. <laughs> Michelob was my first beer ever, though. Was it? Yeah. So, we, um, my parents used to have like card parties yeah. on weekends, like with the same group of friends who had kids around our age. And me and the one girl ran up and asked her mom if we could try her beer. We're yeah. like eight years old, and she just like grabbed the bottle and handed it to us, yeah. which <laughs> we interpreted to mean this is ours now. Right. Not here, have a sip. It <laughs> right. Was, this is ours now so like we split it half uh the bottle each and then spent the rest of the night laying on my little mermaid sleeping bag staring at the stars nice anyways welcome back to segment three yes (laughs) episode 131 where we're going all over the place right but hard that's my fault i take full responsibility i'm sorry kind of not really but where we are (laughs) going is virginia we are doing virginia beers of course if you listen all the way through you know it by now. But we need to have ourselves a third beer from the Commonwealth. Steve, what are we drinking? 
Beer. Yes. You just said that. <laughs> Third beer is coming to us from the Loudon, a brewing company established 2014. I would have said Luden. Could be that. I, nah, it's probably just me speaking, Yenzer. Could be either. I don't know. Loudon? L-O-U-D-O-N. L-O-U-D-O-N. I'm going to go Let with Loudon. <laughs> Let's go with Loudon. I'm going with Loudon. Uh, they're out of Leesburg, Virginia. And we have the hashtag Love Loudon. And it's hashtag Love Loudon because this is actually a bit of a charity beer hmm. because the proceeds go to the Loudon County Scholarship Fund. Oh, okay. So it's Loudon County, Virginia. So if, so if we're doing this wrong, somebody from that county tell us what's right. Right. And what we're saying wrong and how to correct it. Yeah. You fix us. But most importantly, <laughs> the can is pretty. It yes. is a very and nice can. And that's what can. matters. Yes. It's a nice can. It looks like a classic tattoo. Mm-hmm. But instead of the arrow going through the heart with the banner, it's a hop vine. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. The banner doesn't say mom. It no, says it says lo- love, love loud. loud and- yeah. Uh, it is an amber ale and it comes in at 5.5%. It is made with Cascade Hops and Crystal Malt. So there you go. Sweet. Who's Crystal? She's the head brewer at Loudon. (laughs) She sounds pretty. That beer sounds pretty. All beer sounds pretty. Mm. Except for that time a can of platform beer exploded in my face about three inches away from my eyes. Well, all right. That didn't sound pretty. Why did you have a platform beer three inches away from your eyes? I was transporting it, and it exploded. Ah, ha, ha. So it was in my car, and my car got hotter than it needed to be. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying to take the beer out so that horrible things wouldn't happen. And instead, they happened right in front of my face. So instead of a can of biscuits, you got hit in the face with beer. Yes. Okay. And metal. Shrapnel. Right. Platform cans are shit, it turns out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't let them get above 80 degrees. It's that cheap Chinese aluminum. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Goddamn China. <laughs> what? I can say goddamn China. You can. I yeah. think we're supposed to hate China now. Now? I've always hated China. I don't know. I was anti-Russia for a while. I've always been anti-Russia, too. I can't hate too many things at once. It gets <laughs> stressful. It's tiring. <laughs> Ain't y'all motherfuckers need to see Rocky Four? And now it's candy corn season, and I gotta hate candy corn. It's never candy corn season. I hate pumpkin. I just, there was no room for China. No room for China. No. You know, they canceled their their uh, Oktoberfest. China did. Yeah, Harold was actually going to go, and they canceled the October for the Hong Kong uh, Oh, yeah, well, yeah, because Hong Kong's wilding yeah. out for freedom right now. Yeah. Those bastards. <laughs> wilding out for freedom. civil liberties. Did Harold wild yeah, out for freedom? Audacity. No. He should have. No, that's he not should've. a good idea. Actually, I don't know. I haven't asked him, but yeah. he told me he had trouble getting through some of them. Mm-hmm. So it kind of limited what routes he could take or where he could go. So yeah. it gave me the impression he was trying to avoid them. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, Harold's a pretty big guy. Seems like he could wild out for freedom and mm-hmm. get, you know. You can handle his I've business. I've never seen yeah. Harold while out. Anyway. So we have poured all, this beer. Yeah. I want to get all turned up and go to Hong Kong. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get in better shape. <laughs> I get all winded right now. <laughs> but I like the stairs. But like five years ago, Steve could get all wild out. And <laughs> Hong Kong will have freedom in a week. <laughs> this is Loudon Brewing Company. Brewing with benefits supports Loudon tourism. So to Loudon County. So mm-hmm. this particular beer might be benefiting that scholarship, but I guess all of their beer in some way, or shape, or form is helping. Every little bit helps. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the beer, though, itself was actually brewed at Beltway Brewing in Sterling, Virginia. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I, I just saw that. Yeah. Are they a nomadic brewery? I don't think they're nomadic. You I just, just think it was maybe a, a capacity thing because they huh. brewed 60 barrels of this. Gotcha. So okay. it was just like a, a short little one off. Makes sense. But yeah, Makes apparently sense. they're a nano brewery, but they maybe needed something a little bigger. Yeah, because something tells me a Neto Brewery isn't going to have 60 barrel capacity in one hit. Right. They're relatively new. It says 2014 on there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, looking at the beer, though, it looks beer. pretty nice. Looks like an amber ale. Yeah. Yep. Surprise. Yep. Looks a little bit more cloudy than uh, what the Star Hill was. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, it's cloudy, but it's there's not no, bad. No, not bad. Not shit floating around in it. No. It's got a nice head to it that it has decent lacing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine looks like a fish. Mine does not. I'm sad. It smells happier than I remember. 
Yeah, it's got a little bit of hop. It's mm-hmm. supposed to have a little bit of hop. They said so. Yeah. <laughs> it's got that cascade. It's on the can. So I'm getting the hops and the malts. Ooh. Hmm. I kind of like that. Yep. Hmm. Still good. Hmm. Oh, yeah, too hoppy for you. A little bit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's not too that's hoppy. too hoppy. It's not too hoppy. It's for an amber ale, that's pretty hoppy. More than I prefer. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty hoppy for an amber I like ale, me but malts. I do like it. Sorry. No, I'm I'm sorry. no, you're wrong. No, it's fine. I understand. I'm the saying. The show would be boring if everybody on it had the same opinion all the time. That's yeah. true. Yeah, if everybody had a J.O. session of the same beer. <laughs> it's happened in episodes in the past. Right. <laughs> We're yeah. like, we find something we all really like. And that's, that's not a bad thing. And the, yeah. you know. When it happens on one episode, that just means they were all really good beers. Right. That well, in and of itself is good. But if it's the same every episode, well then. Yeah, when it is a natural, yeah. you know, symbiotic something or other it's good where was that good going? words yeah <laughs> yeah way to words adam <laughs> i did it yeah what was that what was that what was the last beer we all jo'd over it was um mm. uh was it the the left hand white russian that was really good i really wish i had a chance to try that That was really good yeah you would enjoy it mm-hmm. i would have yes yeah. so adam yes we're in segment three we are and that means it's time to do something yes it is what are we doing we're doing something a little bit different okay we're going in the lightning rounds Okay. Yes. What? Something a little bit different. We're going in the lightning round. <laughs> no comprende. Here's well, what he'll explain. Spanish yes. by Katie. <laughs> Give it a minute. <laughs> what I don't know what the Spanish for that is. Uno momento, pimento. <laughs> I've been saying anything. I've been waiting for you to explain it. <laughs> so what we're going to do? I'm going to give you a a question, and you will have 30 seconds to answer it. That's it. Okay. You, you got to be quick. <clears throat> So I'm thirty gonna, seconds is actually a long time. I but, could cut it to fifteen if you want. Yeah. What are you doing? You want fifteen? I'll give you fifteen. Yeah, I want fifteen. We're gonna Screw need you. Two, we're gonna I can need do fifteen. Two I don't games. care. Okay. That's gonna go so fast. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll be all right. Don't worry about it. How hard are the questions? Eh, it depends on how hard you want to make it. But I'm going to give each of you fifteen seconds. Now you both answer. You will both Very answer the same question. Diplomatic questions. response, there, Senator. Yes. <laughs> I will not heed the floor. Steve, do you want the first question? Yeah, sure. You have 15 seconds on the clock. Are we playing for points? What? No, this is just okay. rapid fire. This Shits is some, and gigs. This is more of a, an opinion. There are no wrong answers. Opinions? Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Do we have to f- give the whole opinion in 15 seconds? I'm a woman. Okay. I already have opinions on everything. Well, I'm not touching that one. <laughs> <laughs> then you're prepared. That's right. I didn't even know I studied. <laughs> All right, Steve. First question. Which... If any breweries in the Pittsburgh area will go full distribution across the United States first, go. Uh, first one I would guess would be Voodoo. And why? Well, because they already have a shitload of spaces, <laughs> and they already do distro outside the area. So, yeah. Uh, you almost want to say Southern Tier, but they don't exactly count. Stop. That was 15 seconds. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You had to complete your whole thing in 15 seconds. That's All right, then. Seems well, like... then be quick. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why 30 seconds made more sense. Okay. No. So, Katie, I'm going to give you the same question, and I will repeat it for you. Which, if any, breweries in the Pittsburgh area will go full distribution across the United States first? Ready and go. Well, I still agree with Voodoo, but I would, I could see a world where hitchhikers start to expand into Ohio. I could see that happening, but... Yeah, I would say voodoo. You're going with voodoo and possibly hitch time. Hiker. (laughs) Hitch time hiker. Hitch time. Now, I have a bit of a question on that one. Do you guys actually consider voodoo a Pittsburgh brewery? Yeah, it's close enough. Okay. More so than I would say Southern Tier. I agree with that. I mean, we technically consider like levity, lavery. Those, Those get lumped into the Pittsburgh breweries as well. Do they? Lavery? Yeah. yeah. I, I yeah. don't generally... Yeah because, yeah, because they both... I believe they both show up to Beers of the Berg. I don't... So if you show up at Beers of the Berg, then you're a Pittsburgh brewery. That's your that's your, your line? That's your... More or less. Okay. To me, my, my thought process was if you're part or could be part of the Pittsburgh Craft Brew Alliance, to me that the is... The Guild? The Guild, yeah. Yeah, the Guild. The Guild. 
Uh, to me, that's what I would have considered a Pittsburgh beer. Now we can have yeah. separate opinions. That's fine. Yeah, no, that's there are no yeah. wrong answers it unless okay? it's blatantly wrong. <laughs> This is semantics again. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So was Dogfish Head not the right answer? Dogfish not. Head definitely oh, not the right yeah, answer. No. They've already achieved that oh. distribution. Yeah, if you just say Green Flash, I'd have stopped the clock. <laughs> Redo. <laughs> We'd had a word. Do over. <laughs> yes. Are you ready for the next question? Yep. Yeah. Mentally? Okay. Probably not. Well, too bad. You're going to go. Katie, Ooh. you go first this time. Oh my God, so much pressure. You'll be all right. I got faith in you. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Which brewery in the United States... Will be bought out by AB and Bev next. Go. Mm. Oh, God. The clock is ticking. You have five seconds. I don't know because all I can think of is a list of breweries I don't want it to happen to. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Three. I have no answer. Two, one. All right. Well, that was the wrong answer. You just you started this segment with there's no wrong answers. Well, you have to have an answer. You could have said none. They're done buying. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying that's not my answer right no I haven't started the clock we're fine okay I'll give you a reprieve <laughs> I, after Steve you can you can try again but you have to get it in five seconds yes I don't want to try again that's how we play for again. points <laughs> I don't want to try again well too bad this is <laughs> terrible <laughs> this is like trying to pick which poor families are going to go without presents on Christmas I don't like this part <laughs> just pick one off the tree no can I say before you start a timer? Yes. This would have been a better segment to mm -hmm. drink the the white ale in the wit. Okay. Because then your wit and brevity oh, joke would have worked a little better. Damn it. Yeah. No, oh, that's all right. Next time it's fine. Next time we have a wit on the show, we'll do this. Next segment. time we do a lightning round. Yeah. We either have to drink full pint lightning that's, or or a wit. Yeah, I'm fine with that. All <laughs> okay. right, Steve, are you ready for the same question? Which is yes. Which brewery will be the next to be bought out by A B Imbev? Go. Yeah. So my initial thought is because they've been buying things within certain markets. Mm -hmm. uh, platform, the most recent, takes care of the Atlantic market, mm -hmm. as they already have Devil's Backbone. I would guess maybe two roads, but I actually think it's going to be uh, Texas. Oh, okay. So you're saying two roads and possibly Texas. I'll expand you out to... We'll, I'll give you an extra five seconds. I'm not actually going to time it. Uh, any thoughts on which two Texas brewery? Two is one of the no. ones I didn't want oh, okay. it to happen yeah. to. Right, but two roads is pretty pop. So. <laughs> Sorry. They get that New England market. I don't market. like this game. <laughs> Just saying, they get the New England market this with game that. game makes yeah. me sad. My thought on that is I would look... Take Treehouse. No one cares. Well, actually, I, I had that thought in my head as well. Uh, but also a brewery down in the Atlanta area. Which? I don't know. Pick a good one. I don't think Terrapin. That one's already owned. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Not that one. Right. Did we do Georgia? Uh, no. Yet. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I don't think we have. Okay. We've definitely done Terrapin <clears throat> on the show. Yes, we because they had their... Was that that S'mores beer? Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. S'mores beers for days. Mm -hmm. It's a good S'mores beer. Okay, Steve, are you ready for your next question? Always. Okay. You I did like a great it. job with my last question. I know. Oh, yeah. Do you have an answer yet? <laughs> no, I don't have an answer because I don't want to. She said she, said she don't want to. I'm not to picking go. which kid in the cancer ward dies first. Woo. <laughs> 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 Woo. <laughs> That's, all right, Steve. Don't kill right. the babies. Yeah, wow. <laughs> all right, Steve, this, uh, this question is for you first. And the question is, will 0% beer reach a mainstream craft status in America? Yes or no, and why? Go. Uh, no. It, 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 like, if you're trying to get drunk, you're just trying to get drunk. You know, if you're trying to drink something you don't want zero percent beer that's for alcoholics anonymous that's for people trying to get over something time yeah okay fair enough i'll answer Do you this have an answer? i will answer this one <laughs> okay the question again is will zero percent beer reach a mainstream craft status yes or no and why ready and go no, absolutely not, because people who are buying beer want to actually drink craft beer, and the people who drink non-alcoholic beer, it's not your, your AA people. They're not supposed to drink anything that tastes like beer at all, and if you're talking about alcohol-free hard seltzer, well, that came first, so there's no point. Okay. I agree with both of you. Yeah. I, don't, I, I think it's a, a bit of a niche, which, okay, I'll even consider it a necessary niche okay. for... Can I I make an addendum to that? Yeah, go ahead. If there's zero percent alcohol, but they're the CBD shit, then yeah, maybe. Right. That's a whole other subcategory. Yeah. yeah. And I and I would consider those two separate entities. 
Yeah. Uh, getting into the cannabis beers and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a whole other realm. Yeah. But I agree with you that that probably has a greater chance of becoming mainstream. Ask me the question on that. Do you think CBD and THC beers will, will achieve mainstream strategy? Do we even stratus? have to ask? Yes. <laughs> okay, Steve. <laughs> yes. In five seconds, do you believe that CBD or cannabis beers will become mainstream in the U.S. in the next 10 years? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll go federally legal Probably. within 10 years. <clears throat> so, yeah. Vote for Bernie. He'll do it for you. Feel the burn. Gang, gang. He'll do it, too. Feel the burn. Smoke the burn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Katie, are you ready for your question? Oh, God, probably not. Well, too bad. It's coming anyway. This is a lot of pressure. I know. Sanders Yang, 2020. It's past my bedtime. Hurling shit at me. There's time limits. Your question is... hopped up on Goblerito. Yeah. There are several beers that have been brewed to replicate cocktails in the last few years. Which cocktail, if any, do you believe would be the next that should be replicated? Ready and go. I just want the white Russian beer that I didn't get to have. I don't know. I don't like gin beers, but I like piney sprucey. Or I don't like gin, but I like piney sprucey beers, so something there, I guess. Because gin's becoming really popular. And time. So what I heard was Tom Collins. <laughs> I don't know gin drinks. I don't know gin drinks because I don't like gin. Tom Collins. Okay. Yeah. That's what I heard. I've had a mojito made with a t- gin before. Mm. It wasn't great. No, mojitos. I've had mojito beers, and they were okay. They're not great either. No. <laughs> I said okay. Yeah. So, Steve, I'll, uh, I'll throw that same question to you. You know what the question is. Yeah. Ready and go. So, there's only two things I would want turned into a beer mocktail, but you got to do it right. Um, okay. Because most of these, like, cocktail mocktail breweries suck. Uh, hurricane or zombie. Ooh. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> and time. <laughs> I, uh, that hurricane one. Hurricane, You're onto something. Hurricane yeah. was your response, and zombie was my response. <laughs> <laughs> Those were two very different oohs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd be all right with a hurricane here. I, I, just to defend the zombie quickly, mm-hmm. um, just because I've seen a lot of beers lately that are blue. A lot of people are making blue beers. Why? Because they figured out that the... Uh, no, they figured out the uh, butterfly peas uh, come with that like a indigo color to them Mm -hmm. oh the pea flower right yeah so everybody's on that jam now that they figured out how to make blue beers so if you're gonna make blue beer just make a zombie cocktail. i had a gin cocktail with a pea flower in it at some place near my house Hmm. i must add one more clarification for this yeah uh when you said hurricane you are of course talking about the cocktail and not the malt liquor Right. Because that's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Right. Pa- Pat O'Brien's. Yeah, I'm talking. Pat O'Brien. Yes. Yeah, I'm talking PDOB. Yeah. <laughs> Not, ooh, yuck. mm. <laughs> yucky. Thumbs way down. We made a beer that mimics Hurricane. So you just made Hurricane? <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of like King Cobra, though. <laughs> oh. This is getting grosser. All right. We got one last lightning round question. Steve, this comes to you. Sure. Dun, dun, dun. And your question is, which brewery should be nationally registered as a national park? As a national park? Yes. Well, I mean, there's already the one what? that's in Arkansas. We're not talking hot springs. I'm just saying there's already that one. Oh, I agree. Um, so which one should be? I have no idea. That one's hard. I don't know. Uh, something in Fort Collins. <laughs> Okay, so I heard something in Fort Collins. I'm New Belgian. <laughs> the the worst answer would be like I didn't want to say it, but like Coors and uh, Golden. That does make sense. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, but I didn't want to say it. Right. <laughs> so let's go with uh, something in Fort Collins. Yeah, something in Fort Collins. It's not AB and Bev. It's Funk Works in Fort Collins. Yeah, let's go with them. I like Funk Works. Funk <laughs> My brain thought anything in Colorado, so that's we're there. All right. Uh, oh, I haven't started the timer yet. No, I was holding on to. No, no. <laughs> We're just going to sit here in silence for 15 seconds. <laughs> Are we? Yes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Oh, added wait. Lasers. Yeah. Oh, we definitely are. ASMR and lasers. Stop. <laughs> so Colorado's getting themselves a national monument of beer, a national park. Makes sense. I'd go. Yeah. 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 I'm, trying, I'm trying to think what would be. See, I didn't. I didn't go around Colorado enough to really 
like find one that's in a like scenic area they could put into except for cores like mm. i saw cores in golden golden and, colorado is fantastic and i believe there's at least one or two other breweries in golden mm, yeah uh fort collins is at the foot uh of the rocky mountains there proper outside of estes park so that's very picturesque there as well yeah so there's bound to be something nice yeah. in there so <laughs> there bottom could line, be something in florida too the keys or the everglades or something because it's still yeah just protected mm, area yeah yeah I still mm. like Colorado, though. Yeah. That's also just because they make good beer. Yes. I can't vouch for every Florida beer. Right. We've had good Florida beers. But True. Can't vouch for one that's hanging out in the Everglades. Yeah, if we yeah. redo the Florida if, episode, I'm probably just beer. coming back with a bunch of Intracoastal. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which that, I like that's it. Fine. Yeah. Coastal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Sorry. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't need that bacon beer again. Yeah. <laughs> if, if there's one in the rough. Everglades, though, I'm, I have a bad feeling like instead of a distro van, it's a distro airboat. Yes. And it's got <laughs> Yes. It's got to go dock to dock delivering kegs. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I'm just saying. I, I don't know how job. much I trust yeah, that. Yeah, no shit. That'd, That'd be, be fun awesome. job. That'd be a fun job. One time in Florida, I shot an alligator with a bottle rocket, and it got really mad. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I mean, I'd get mad. And I'm not even an alligator. I brush my teeth. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you think they're so ornery? Why? God. <laughs> I, don't get, I don't know this joke. Mama said. Mama, mama said. <laughs> they're so ornery because they ain't got no toothbrush. Is this a water boy reference? It is. Oh, Christ is. almighty. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that in... <laughs> You're wrong, kind of sandals. <laughs> <laughs> so that's been lightning round. Gatorade. <laughs> Aren't you glad we played? I am. I learned about us a lot tonight. Yeah, you learn a couple things real quick. Mm-hmm. That's what the lightning that round's about. The game is stressful, and I don't like it. And I will say, Good. if, if anybody <laughs> do it again, yeah. <laughs> if anybody has any other opinions of how we should be answering those questions, let us know. Hit us up. Uh, HopNationUSA at gmail.com and then all the other things on the social media that Steve's going to talk about here in a minute. But first, we've, got, we've got this beer from, Deals. from Loudon Brewing. Loudon. Tasty Life. I liked it. Hashtag Loudon. Yeah. Love Loudon. Yeah. I, uh, I think it kind of mellowed out on the hops a little bit as I kept drinking it. Okay. Personal opinion. Okay. Decent. Decent. I was, yeah, I'd say so too. It's got a lot of good flavor. Uh, it's good flavorful at amber and it's got a hoppiness to it that adds more flavor that mm-hmm. you would get than a general amber eee. so yeah i appreciate it mm. a good bit yes is that what you appreciate about it that's what i appreciate about it appreciates you i'm gonna need you to take about 10 percent off <laughs> <laughs> well let's take that 10 percent off and put it right on the podium okay Whoa. Let's put these bad boys on the podium. The bronze, the silver, the gold. Going hard, charging that podium. Who wants to go Running first? Running at it. Mm, I'll go first. Do it. So bronze, I'm going to give to the Strange Ways Albino Monk E. It's an okay drinkable wit, but I've had a lot better wits. And I missed like a lot of the flavors that you would get normally. Like I didn't get many citrus notes. I didn't get many pepper notes. I didn't really get much. It's just kind of a, a multi ale. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even really get any like those common like Belgian esters to be snooty for a bit. <laughs> so, yeah. It's but it's fine. It's better than a wild blue or a Michelob. Damn right. Or <laughs> Yeah, it's better than a lot of other things. It's drinkable. But it's not as good as the other two beers that we had tonight. So, the silver, I'm actually going to give to the Star Hill. It's really drinkable. It's really flavorful. The one thing that separates it from the Love Loudon is, even though it is drinkable, it is a little sweet. And I just feel like I might get tired of that sweetness faster than I would with the Amber Ale. Mm. The Amber Ale is a constant drinker. Like, you, I can just put these down forever, I think. <laughs> it's just like, it, <laughs> it has the right balance of hops and malt for me. So even though I really appreciate the Star Hill and the fact that you actually get the maple flavor as compared to a lot of other things that say they have maple, especially maple barrel aged bullshit, Ugh. where you almost never taste the maple, this one comes through and it's really great. So silver for Star Hill. Gold, though, I'm going to give to the Loudon Brewing Company because I could just drink these amber ales forever. Into Entropy and then Star Death. <laughs> 
and then the universe disappears. Star Death. Yeah. Band is, name. No. No? No. Nope. Should be. No, it probably already uh, is, yeah, but I you would, can't call it. Right, right. What happened to Stained Glass Monkey? Why can't I have multiple projects? Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, he, he calls them out, but he, yeah. I don't think he can have Star Death. I'm pretty sure that one's that already wouldn't taken. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me. It's actually probably copyrighted by Disney because you can't reverse Death Star. Ah. Yeah. You can't say Star Death will sue you. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to go next? I will. It's easy. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Same. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the albino monkey was, it was good. I didn't dislike it. Um, I, th- I felt like it had good flavor for what was there. I felt like it could have had more of what it had. So it was just kind of low key. And the Star Hill uh, Last Leaf was very good. I did really enjoy it. The one thing I appreciate about it, especially when you're trying to put that much flavor into a brown ale, it's already going to be really malty and you want the flavor to come through. Um, a lot of times you get like a real extracty, synthetic kind of flavor, which I think with maple syrup would have been very easy to do, but it didn't taste that way. It tasted like actual maple syrup, which I appreciated. However, <laughs> going with the Love Luden, because uh, the Star Hill is just a little bit sweet for me and... Like Steve said, the Love Luden was not. It was just very well balanced and super easy to drink. And what can I say? I'm glad I have more of them at home. Hooray of a special limited batch. Yes. <laughs> Only six to barrels. Yay. Only. Did it. And now for something completely different. Okay. I am not agreeing with you two. Blasphemer. Yeah, that's fine. Heretic. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm actually going to put the the Loudon, uh, hashtag love Loudon, in the bronze medal position. Godless pornographer. Gasp. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Godless pornographer? I know that's from something. No, it's just... <laughs> that sounds like it that's, should that's be from just something. From, that's just from Steve. That's just, that's that's just, just from me. Steve maybe you on, just, a, on a weekday. Yeah, maybe you just called me that before. Yeah. Maybe. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, the love Loudon, I'm going to put that in the bronze medal position. Uh, and I'm going to refer back to what Steve had talked about with drinkability. So I'm going back to my sensibilities. Uh, in terms of drinkability, this is a good beer. It just does not uh, align perfectly with my uh, sensibilities. So I'm not going to discourage anybody to drink this beer. Uh, it's good beer. Just not necessarily to my uh, discretion, my drinkability uh, direction. So in the silver metal position, I'm going strange ways with the Albino Monk E. Uh, it's a very drinkable beer. I can see myself uh, drinking multiple bottles of this. Now, obviously, it has been discussed that this uh, is not a... I'll say it is a very straightforward beer. This is the way I'll put it. Uh, very drinkable beer, and I like that about it. And I could, uh, I could have more than one, that's for sure. In the gold medal position, I do have to put the Star Hill Last Leaf Maple Maple Brown Ale. I really like this beer. It was sweet without being too sweet. It still had that maple tinge to it. Uh, I yeah, I could uh, I could have a nice cold fall day, a six pack of this, and have myself a good time. So that goes in the gold medal position. There you go, bronze, silver, gold. Book it done. Yeah. Ta-da. Yeah, that last leaf is definitely perfect for this season right now. Mm-hmm. But it, I just felt like the amber ale you can drink all the time. Fair, so. fair. However, if you want to find us on social media, all you have to do is search Hop Nation USA, and that'll get you Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you want to listen to brand new episodes of the Hop Nation USA podcast every Friday, as you should, then search Hop Nation USA on your favorite podcatcher like Stitcher, Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pod Chaser, Pod Beam. Mm pod bean yeah mm-hmm. i think they said that yeah i don't know maybe i don't know um you know potter and whatever potter and pot 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 a pod 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 well pod the pottery barn pottery barn is that a thing i bet that would <laughs> be a thing in a pod. <laughs> two peas in a pod is probably a show yeah <laughs> it should be if it isn't yeah i don't know how that wouldn't be a show right. i think it's a children's clothing company could be that too uh, could okay. be that too but if you're on any of those platforms leave us a five star review because we are a six star show but they only let us use five and that's a bigger crime than not buying our six star podcast shirt that you can find on tpublic.com slash hop nation usa straight fire yes yo it's a good shirt go buy it lit af 
Buy shirts. Yeah. <laughs> and stickers. And magnets. <laughs> Buy them all. And mugs. Christmas is right around the corner. Yes. Get your holiday shopping done now. We will get you taken care of, set up. We're not going to wrap it for you. No, but... I'll T-Pub- wrap it. T-Pub- I'm good at wrapping. I will wrap it. Okay. I'm, no, I'm just pretty sure Public will wrap it for you. Oh, even better. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they do gift wrap. Dude, we're done. Yeah, we're done. You buy. We done. <laughs> Uh, but thanks again to Katie for bringing us beers all the way from the Commonwealth of Virginia. Yes, and thank you for coming on the show and sharing them with us. Oh, you're welcome. Virginia's not that far away. Not that far, but I am I am an insulated person. <laughs> <laughs> this is your one day out of the week you get out of the house? Yes. <laughs> two, two times this week. I travel. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right, yeah. I went to the beer tasting yeah. earlier in the week. <laughs> you were in multiple counties. Yes. I only touched two counties and that's it. <laughs> Any farther? No, thank you. I've gone too far. I must turn around. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Back to the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Safety. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for listening. Um, Have a great weekend if you want to send us money you can just send us money that's cool oh too. yeah that's cool we actually have christmas shopping to do also so mm-hmm. if you want to help that um to send money yeah yeah tweet us and we will tell you where, where to, to send, send it i'll yeah. tell you exactly what paypal it'll go to <laughs> <laughs> hey wait i'm in it Steve PayPal. you send me a, you send me a tweet and i will send you my venmo screen name we'll work it out I send you my Venmo screen name. <laughs> and if you want to do something through Western Union, let me know. <laughs> I'm pretty no sure. No money for Adam. <laughs> Adam is so far behind on the times, he has to uh, get a telegram mm-hmm. and then go to the telegram office mm-hmm. and then <laughs> turn it on. If you send Adam a check, make sure you put your driver's license number in the top left corner. Yeah. Yes, I would like to know when the next Wells Fargo stagecoach is coming in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> So he'll actually be taking his currency in silver and gold bars. Please and thank you. Because he is just too antiquated for paper monies. <laughs> I heard that uh, that uh, gentleman out in San Francisco, that Levi Strauss, he's doing some good <laughs> stuff out there. I'm going to have to see what he's up to. Oh, Christ on a cracker. <laughs> Well, then, as you do that, we'll prepare for episode 132 yep. next week. Yes. And Come we'll back be back with beer and a positive attitude. Yeah, I think we had a positive attitude this week. We but did, we did, yeah. But we'll do it we've again had next some week. Some real too. mopey episodes before. We have. Yeah, I mean, like with me. We've we've pushed through your gobblerito. <laughs> yeah, I I'm can't even say right. Gobbleri- I'm in a gobblerito haze. So Band that's fine. It. I- <laughs> gobblerito haze. <laughs> All, right. All right, that's it. <laughs> We're, We're done. done. All right, good night. Bye. <laughs>